Hello YouTube. A few days ago we all became aware of this uh, asteroid 2011 MD, a near-Earth object making a hairpin turn around our planet at 6.14 p.m. GMT three and a half hours after it had been predicted to whiz by. Uh, it goes on to say in this article, red-faced astronomers only discovered the asteroid last week. Until then they thought the small rock was a piece of space junk. Okay, 7,500 miles, that's 12,000 kilometers. Okay, we've got a mail online here showing us some photographs that were taken of this. Asteroid as it passed by. Okay, so big deal. Let's see what JPL have to say about this. Well, look up the JPL website and here's the trajectory of this the orbit diagram of this um, asteroid 2000, 2011. MD. So let's play this animation. I'll just slow it down a bit to the hour because it goes quite fast. Okay, so in June 14, June 15, June 16, it's getting closer and closer. You can see the countdown, the distance, and what do we find? Oops, June 23rd is extremely close. In fact, we'll find that that is its closest crossing according to the JPL website. If we carry on the animation, it's now getting further and further away until we get onto the 27th, and it's supposed to be 0 0.0032 astronomical units away. But hang on, is it 0 0.0032 astronomical units or is it 7,500 miles or 12,000 kilometers? Well, on this animation which is prior to the crossing it shows this object coming in this is from the point of view of the asteroid coming in and whizzing over the south pole and I managed to freeze frame it from I want to believe's YouTube channel and it shows it at that point being supposedly 2.9112 ER or ER stands for earth radiuses I've done a little bit of math here, so it was predicted to come within 18,500 kilometers, it would seem, uh, prior to its actual crossing. Well, on June 24, it was predicted to come about 90,000 kilometers within the Earth. So, three days prior to that, it was 90,000 kilometers, and then on the 27th, it's predicted to be 18,500 kilometers. It actually makes the crossing at 12,000 kilometers. Well, let's see what the JPL website have on their orbit diagram, if we carry on. According to the orbit diagram, it just carries on and on and on. And we move this onto a daily, and you see it's just supposed to go off by itself, away from the Earth. Well, how is that possible? If it was, it's obviously not. It's obviously in Earth's orbit at the moment. This diagram must be wrong now. It might have been accurate for the crossing, but after the crossing it's now wrong, and JPL have not bothered to update it. People on Discovery News saying them why I'm sad the asteroid 2011 MD missed the Earth. Well, it might have missed that time, but it's clearly on a decaying orbit. It's clearly in Earth's orbit, and it'll be a decaying orbit. So it's going to hit sooner or later. <coughs> So what's the point of all this? Well, we've got Alanin, this comment Alanin, C 2010X1 Alanin. If they're not telling us the truth about this asteroid, which is probably of no consequence, it's probably going to smack down on the ocean somewhere, um, how can you trust them on Alanin or anything else they're talking about? Because everyone's basing all the information on the JPL website, and clearly JPL have not updated the orbit diagram for this asteroid, even though this asteroid is clearly in some sort of orbit around the Earth, a three-day decaying orbit. So this is just a little heads up that um, they're treating us like mushrooms, essentially.